Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, this is the Pilgrim, and um, welcome to Skytown. This is like a fantasy adventure build. There are a few tricks to making structures float on arc. Captain Fat Dog's got a great video showing all the ways it can be done. I used a tech hatch and snapped a water well to it. Um, what you can do then is run the water pipes from the well, and they supported the structure. The thing is, uh, this method's just been patched like literally in the last couple of days. Luckily I had Steam in offline mode, just in case there was any updates or anything that wiped the base halfway through. So yeah, this basically can't be repeated as it is. But what I was thinking of doing is, um, I, I can basically use foundations, I was thinking of putting them underwater, and then having a couple of pillars rising up to support the base, you'd only need like one going up as long as everything was above the foundations. Mask the pillars with some wooden lifts going down to maybe a dock and make it look like the whole base is floating above the sea or a lake. Yeah, so I'm still going to be able to make a how to build video. I uh, just have to sort of start from scratch and rebuild the whole thing. I like the idea of having the male balloons holding the whole base up. Um, and I was thinking of having maybe kites or a bunch of moths holding up the airship. And then I thought gas bags would look just perfect as like giant air balloons. And after that the whole base just came together really well. I'll have a bit of a fly around the place and point some things out. Um, all the plants and stuff that are on the outside of the main base in the middle um, I managed to run the water pipes from the well but I think it looked pretty good with a lot of like water pipes at different angles going down into the water below it that'd be like another little design thing I used a lot of ladders to make sure everything looked like it was all tied together you know with ropes and things oh, that looked pretty good and I used a load for the rigging on the ship as well the airship went together dead easy once I got that sort of main deck down. Um, having the slope roof snap underneath just makes the hull look really streamlined as well. It looked really good. I put a couple of little um, water taps in there so it like there was controls for it as well. I saw a pretty funny comment on Twitter. Someone said, fix your snap points. The slope roofs are snapping upside down. But they're actually meant to do that. So, yeah. All we really need now is slope triangle walls that snap upside down and the whole thing will be perfect. Get some really good stuff built with that. I think if I come to rebuild it, I'll put an extra lot of gas bags in the middle and um, another layer of three down the centre so it looks more rounded and they all look like they're holding it up. A lot more bulkier, I think it'll look better like that. But they, they worked out great for that design. I used brick colour, forest green, white and a little bit of parchment for the paint job. I'm just sort of stuck to that across most of the build. And I left all the wood bare just because I thought it looked better like that. You see all the walkways are built in, just holding everything together. Then I built all these little sections sort of sticking off where you've got like the arches and the snow owl on the other side, just so you've got places to land. And the quets are built like a little base on there, it's just a couple of foundations and some tri triangle foundations around the outside. And I put like a storage area just underneath the main deck of it and there's a bed and stuff in there as well, so it's like a little mobile base. I think the design of the place is a little ad hoc, like ramshackled, because I, I didn't want it to look like it had been designed from the ground up. I wanted it to look more like it had been built over time by different tribe members, sort of like the uh, Winter Trader base that I did. So I thought every building would be like a different shape at different angles, and like all the interiors have got different rooms for like bedrooms and, and kitchens and things like that in them. But like the main base, I built more. Uh, it's more like symmetrical and, uh, and better designed. I've not put a whole lot of decor in here, um, but I just built like a little kitchen down at this section. And like put the farm around the outside, so you've got food up here. It's all like self-sustaining. 
would be a good idea to get high above the ground as possible and away from all the dinosaurs to be honest if you could build something like this. You see the little landing bay I built in the top of the thatch building there as well for me. And I just did some of these walkways just sticking out into into the air so you could it looked like you could pull the airship up to him and get in and out of the base. It's just another little base here hanging off the bottom. So I just put like tables and chairs and bits and pieces in there. Make it all look like it's been lived in. I really like the way the, the spiral staircases look, just sort of hanging out over the side everywhere. Like connecting all the different levels up. Look good as well if you paint the different sections, you sort of get that stripe pattern on them as well. Now this was just another little like building here. Got a bedroom and a fireplace and everything in it. There's a couple of little buildings inside these towers as well, but most of it's spiral staircases or um, hatch frames with ladders, you know, going up so you can get get up to the top of them. This is the landing pad for the quets. Oh, go inside it and have a look. So just table chairs and I put like a glass slope roof going down there so when you knelt down like controlling the quets you can see straight out of the glass that looked pretty good yeah so there we have it guys sky town it was a pretty fun thing to build this to be honest i mean i think most people have noticed or if you're new to the channel i got um a couple of builds in the trailer for the new homestead update i was really happy about that and safarius got his build he's the one at the beginning and i was chatting to him couple of nights back and he showed me a build that he's working on now some of the stuff he's come up with lately has been unbelievable this new thing is just amazing um so yeah if you get a chance check out his channel over the weekend it's got something special coming up and since the trailer's dropped i've had a really nice boost in like subs and a bunch of new twitter followers and everything so yeah thank you very much for that guys really appreciate it and i was saying to uh, safarius the other night it's just like you get the video finished and you upload it and you sort of sitting there wondering how it's going to go down and you start getting responses all the comments and stuff start coming in and we said the whole youtube thing's just so addictive and yeah i'm really grateful for all the love it's just really cool and yeah all that mushy stuff aside um i've got like a thousand things what i build now the homestead updates dropped so i'm gonna get back to building and yeah i'll catch you later guys thanks for watching